Good morning. Happy Monday. Today is December 7th, a little shortly after 9. We hope you had a wonderful weekend and are ready for a great week here at Brumfield. Joining us today for the pledge is our very, very special, appreciated yes. Miss Jessica. Come on over. Everybody, please join us in the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you. Okay, please join us in a moment of silence. All right, thank you. Moving on to birthdays, we have one birthday today, and it is our very special friend, Miss H, down in kindergarten in Miss Carter's class. Miss H, we hope you have a wonderful day. We will be thinking about you and celebrating with you. Moving on to second step. This week, last week, we talked about when we have strong feelings and we give ourselves a stop signal. Well, what do we do after that? That's what we're going to focus on this week. When you have a strong feeling, it's hard for your brain to think. After you use your stop signal and name your feeling, you're ready to calm down. How do we do that? You can calm down by some slow, deep belly breathing, counting, or using that positive self-talk, talking to yourself, positive self-talk. Think for a moment about your favorite way to calm down. Remember to use it this week if you need to. Calming down helps you think clearly, again. We have to be calmed down in order for our brains to think clearly. Mr. Thompson, what is something you use to calm yourself down? I like to count backwards from 10. Count backwards from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay. That's his so strategy. Back. Okay. So sometimes you don't always have to get to one. No. Okay. Sometimes. Well, that's good. And sometimes you may have to do it more than once. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. hand washing. On this marvelous Monday, Nurse Shelley wanted me to share with you, we have many of these posters now made across, um, across the building, and it's reminding us to spread the word, not the germs. So what would the word be? What word are we spreading? We see Mr. Henry the hand there, so it must be, the word must be, remember to wash your hands. Wash your hands. All right, as you go throughout your day, remember those spot on expectations, safety, positive actions, organization, and trustworthiness, and those will lead you into making great choices and having a great day. And as always, body out.